Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Welpdom. Welp, here we are on YouTube. That's the place where all the great things happen. And that's why you're here. So if you're watching this on YouTube, good for you. You're watching the chopped up, hacked up version that we didn't want to get uh, copyrighted. But if you're watching it here live with us, right here in studio, welcome. This is great. We want to welcome everyone here. This is uh, a Patreon request from Celeste. She's given us some big ones. She gave us, mm -hmm. uh, she's, she's given us concerts, the One Direction concert movie. She gave us the One Direction movie. Like two, con the concert movie, there's like This Is Us and the other concert movie. She yeah. paid for both of those. Now yeah. she's paying for this TV special. Yeah. One Direction sure did a lot in their short time. <laughs> they did a lot of like stuff. So this, <laughs> this is just a, mm -hmm. I, I didn't, I Googled a little bit just so we wouldn't go in totally blind. But this mm. is just a TV special. They went on TV and they sang songs. Like I don't even know what kind of audience they're in front of. <laughs> Nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So because we don't watch anything before we watch it. Yeah. But that's what I got from a quick bio on IMDb. They're just performing in front of people, and there's some clips or interviews and other things. And so yeah, let's just check it out. We'll do it in two parts. Okay. Yeah, well, we are doing All this right. in two parts. Yeah. All right. All right. Welcome to Orlando, Florida. We've got a jam-packed hour for you. You're gonna join <laughs> us on our tour. And you'll see us surprising some of our fans. And join us here for an exclusive performance. This is One Direction, the TV special. <laughs> it really is a TV special. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Ari. Ari Potter. Zane. One Direction. Oh, they start singing right away. She's my queen, she's sweet, we're 16. We want the same things, we dream the same dreams. All right. All right. Let me sing it. I got it all, cause she is the one. My mom calls me love, the dad calls me son. All right. We've heard this song. I'm pretty sure we have. It's one of our first ones. Yep. Okay. Is it cold there? They're all in like sweaters and long sleeve shirts. I want to hear them sing it. No, no, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. No, mute, mute your microphone. Nobody wants to hear us. <laughs> Everyone else is singing along. Everybody wants to 
songs to me. With me. <laughs> Great song. Love that performance. Yeah. I love the piano yeah. too. I think what's interesting yeah. is we're getting uh, the hang of the songs, and that one per- is a particular earworm. So it's fun. Yeah, it's um, a fun song. I guess. <laughs> it's one of our first. And we are becoming more fans of Zane, but I'm not a fan of the hairnet that he's wearing there. It just you don't like that. <laughs> You like that? No. <laughs> it looks so funny. Sorry. Zane usually is so cool and kind of calm collective, but that drawing the wrong kind of attention, not his style to wear a hairnet like that or whatever. Oh, yeah. That's, that is a nice song. It's a good earworm song. I agree with you. That was one of our first songs, August 2022. This is how long we've been on this journey for over a year and a half. Oh, now. oh right, right. Yeah. It, so it was like the, I think it was the first two or three songs we did from the band. Yeah, I can see why it was offered to us by everyone should be thanking again. We should always like give mm-hmm. thanks to our Lord, Brian Lord. He's the one that started this whole journey. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. on a whim, this guy. Like you have to understand, this guy is he's just a few years younger than me, Nathan. I don't think he's much younger than us, maybe 10 years younger than us. Mm-hmm. He actually follows me on Instagram. He's a real person. And, and, and he looks like a normal dad with kids and everything. And he gave us mm-hmm. one direction. And he didn't do it, he didn't do it ironically or to make fun. He just he just said, "Well, oh, here's a couple of One Direction songs," and then off he went into into the wilderness, and he just <laughs> <laughs> never came back. Uh, anyways, yeah. I always just got to give out the uh, shout out to Brian Lord. I don't, he's just the best. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, none of this would have happened yeah, without him. No, I did ask the question of how big this crowd was because I don't think this is like a legit. It's probably a free concert. I wonder. And I just don't know where it's being held. How many people are in the crew? Because it's a controlled environment for the TV special. So I don't know how yeah. big the studio is. Is it three hundred people? Five thousand people? I don't know if anyone has the information on that. But the, yeah, great song. I mean, that really is a nice song. It, it's the type of song where it doesn't scream boy band. It's just a nice good. But it's a good pop. It's a good pop song. It's a really nice pop song. The next song, Nathan. When we do hear it, okay. The next song is going to be. What makes you beautiful? I think we've heard that one before. I I think we might have heard it once or twice. Okay, but I think they do some stuff between songs. We'll find out here. Yeah. Hello and welcome to One Direction, the TV special. We are so excited to be here <laughs> at Universal funny. Wonder Resort. I'm so glad that you guys are here to join us. So, Niall, can you tell us in your own words what's coming up in the show? Well, the cameras joined us backstage on our tour around South America. Um... Liam is going to give us the toughest interview of our lives. And also, we'll be playing some old hits and some brand new tracks from our new album, Four. Some old hits that came out two years ago. (laughs) (laughs) I was just about to say, are these the old classics? Those classic, (laughs) you might remember such songs as What Makes You Beautiful? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> some uh, classic hits from three haircuts ago <laughs> <laughs> so we finally come to the end of 2014 and it's been an incredible year that none of us will ever forget yes Louis, we've played nearly 70 shows in 19 different countries to over 3 million fans and definitely had an amazing time along the way and here's the good news we're coming back to America next year on tour but now, as a special treat, just for you, here's an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at some of our time on the road. Don't they break up by the time they come back to the state? <laughs> no. Not break up. Doesn't out, uh, Zane leave before I, then? Let's see if we get the timeline right. So they're about to release album four. They released mm-hmm. the fifth album, but they never toured that fifth album, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. That's right. Am I right about yeah. that? I think so. Because it's 2015 so when Zane, Zane left. Or was it 2014? Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Well, Zayn left during the tour of album four. Yeah, and they're no. just releasing it here. Yeah, so they haven't even released the album yet. So they still have some time, a little bit of time together as a band. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. So by the time next year, Zayn will have left. <laughs> March go. 2015. March, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, so he's almost out of the band. Okay. So we've got to Columbia first. Lima, Peru. Now we're to Argentina. <laughs> I've been to Lima, Peru. I've been there. Lucky. There was no crowd for me, but I've been there. Argentina, now we're another one. Peru, we went to Chile. I've been to Chile, but nobody was there to greet me. <laughs> I've got no idea. 
Buenos Aires, Argentina. <laughs> Are we going to Rio next? No. No? Tomorrow we go to Montevideo in Uruguay. Uruguay? It's going to be a coastal country. It's going to be a coastal country. To Rio de Janeiro. That's a coastal country. I never I like the all. surprise of it. Like, I don't actually know where we're going. And we just go and just turn up there. And then they're like, where, where are we? Oh, we're in so-and-so. Brilliant. Let's do it. We've never been here before. Come down here and play stadiums. And the first run is just unbelievable. We didn't really know what to expect. In the first couple of shows, we'd never really performed to that amount of people before, so I was genuinely nervous about it. What can we expect to be at show? Um, a lot of fun. We're all a bit nervous at the minute because it's our, it's our first show of the tour. Because we've known about this tour for like a year, we've been really excited, so it's all going to come out tonight. Oh, a big show. <laughs> Ready to rock and roll. Can't wait to hit that first chord on the guitar. One, two, three, four. Down and It's going to be interesting, I think, just to sing in front of people that are screaming back at you because we haven't done that for a while. That's a better look for him. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, this is my favorite look for Louis. Is he Luke Perry? Is he Luke Perry or? I no, no, no. Oh, okay. Louis Perry? No, this isn't Louis Perry. This is like long hair Louis. Oh, long hair Louis. I do not like headband Harry. I, no. I, <laughs> not, I do not like headband Harry. I'm sorry. It's horrible. It looks like he's, looks like he's 12. Yeah. <laughs> it does not suit him. I'm sorry. That's not good. There, see? Oh yeah, 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 that, yeah I like, like Louis' hair there. Wow, this is unbelievable. Like bad boy Louis, wow. I like it. The next time yeah. you see the stage is when there's 50,000 people in it. And I don't look up until the, the last minute. I don't actually see the crowd. You know, you just hear them, just then look up and it's just like, whoa. <laughs> Stepping out to 60,000 people a night <laughs> just feels Epic is the word I would use. It feels like that's what this job was made for. Thousands of people just screaming for you, and then when I sing like my first line of the first song, it just it's the best thing ever. Cool job. It has been some of the most mind-blowing gigs that we've ever done down here because they've just been seas and seas of people. The atmosphere at these gigs, the rest of the world is going to have to step their game up because last night and the night before were two of the best crowds I've seen ever. Well, yeah, that's South America crowds. They're insane. They are mm -hmm. insane. And that's why bands love going there when they can go there because the crowds give everything to the bands. It's insane. So I'm not surprised yeah. they're saying that. But, but I am surprised this is their first time there. And so long as you know in their career this is their first time there on their fourth album like, like we said this is december 2014 is what we see here this is footage from before the tv special sorry so this mm -hmm. would have been summerish or whatever 2014 but like zane was only a year away from leaving the band at this point of this footage that's just odd that mm -hmm. it kind of took them that long to go to south america i thought they did. i just thought they would have been there earlier i don't know why yeah well okay. and i remember louis talking about him going back to remember he, when right. Louis went solo, he was excited to go back there. It was probably from this tour that he realized how much he liked it there. Oh, there you go. Someone just said this about Louis. Really? Ooh. Wow. I hope he films yeah. that. That would be a nice one to film. That would be fun to watch. Sure. Yeah. yeah, for sure. What do you think the bravest member is, Ryan? Well, it depends what they're going to ask them. I don't know if they're talking about heights or thrill rides. or. I think for but bravery, just... it's probably going to be it's going to be between Louis and Harry. Yeah, Probably I was Louis. Say Harry. Oh, okay. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I'm gonna, not because I'm Louis, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, say, gonna put I'm gonna my chip Louis. on 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 Harry. Okay. All right. We'll find out. Welcome back to One Direction, the TV special. Time now for another song. This was our very first single and our very first number one. This is what makes you beautiful.
the Beatles sound of that one. You said. I mean, we've heard that song quite a few times now with the, I think we've done the actual official video. Maybe but we've done a f- two or three or four live performances now from these guys on that song. But mm-hmm. of course, one of their biggest hits, I think one of their first hits, if not, was this not their first hit? Maybe was this I think so. Hit? Yeah. I think it's the one song I sort of briefly knew before we reacted to them. I, oh, I, I, I knew it before the- for sure. Yeah. I knew that was a One Direction song before. But uh, yeah, first number one, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a fun song. It's a classic. It's their big... I know they're reading off teleprompters. They have to. This is a... They got to be... This is a one-hour special. They can't be... It's a TV special, yeah. Yeah, so they got to be quick, quick, quick. You got to have teleprompters. They can't be fumbling their words here. Mm. Last few years, but tonight, it's my turn to ask the questions. So, earlier today, I gave the boys the toughest, most punishing, most grueling interview of their lives. Take a look at this. Okay. Today, I find out who the cleverest member of One Direction is in a test so hard, so grueling, that Zayn Malik didn't even come. No. <laughs> uh, no. Come on, it'll be a good time, man. Everyone's out waiting. No, I don't want to do it, Leo. Why not? I don't like roller coasters. Oh, it's a roller coaster. That's this fair. Okay. The toughest interview of their life. Well, some people don't. That's legit. If you if you don't like roller coasters, that kind of it, you're not going to feel comfortable. You might get motion sickness, fear of heights, combination of both. I'm glad they didn't push them too much because I'm that way too. Like I don't like to do certain things. I love roller coasters, by the way. Love roller coasters, really. Uh, but I, oh yeah, I love them. 
absolutely never was on a roller that. coaster. Oh, really? I, I thought I've said it before. No, I absolutely see. I'm afraid of heights, but height related activities. So, like, I don't like to repel, but I'll go on a roller coaster that's five times the height of any repelling. It's got, it's got nothing to do with the height. It's the fact that I'm going backwards on a rock face on a rope. It's a different mm. kind of psyche for me. If, but if you strap I'm, me I'm to a roller coaster, the opposite. I, I, yeah. I hate um, roller yeah, coasters. Yeah, anyways, Zane and you would be hanging out in the dressing room getting your hair done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's not a roller coaster I wouldn't do. There's not a roller coaster I wouldn't do in the world. Can I have your full name, please, contender? Niall James Horan. Harry Edwards Styles. Louis Tomlinson. And how are you feeling, sir? You feeling good? I'm not a massive That's roller a cool coaster one there. guy. Oh. oh. Point there you go. I'm out. Answer that you get. There'll be a ding on the screen. Shit. Ding. Shit. Okay. Ding. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be Louis, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I think so. Which one do you remember? First word was cat. Harry! Who played Batman in the Dark Knight trilogy? Chris, Kristen Bell. <laughs> How many days are in a lead year? I don't know, too many. <laughs> what Batman member's favourite movie is Grace? <laughs> what Batman member's favourite movie is Grace? Yes! <laughs> what? What's the currency of it? You're out! Who wrote the song? Little thing! Jimmy Scott! Hey, Jimmy! Name all the 1D mums in order! Uh, what do you mean in order? In alphabetical order! order. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, what do you mean in order? Uh, oh, you got that one wrong. <laughs> wow, that's too much. That's too many answers. <laughs> he can't even ask this question. How is he not letting go of that? How many months are there in three and a half years? Three and a half years is uh, 12, 24, uh, 36, and uh, plus another six, 38. Uh -oh. <laughs> How many seeds in the world? 38. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Nile, isn't it? All right, bro. Look at this. quite well. <laughs> Look at my hat. I think that's everything. Congratulations. <laughs> that was really good. I'm impressed. <laughs> that was fun. Very well done there. Thanks for your quiz master and skills. You're crying. What are you crying for? Hey, Greg. I think I know the answer to that, Niall. Poor Liam had to go on all those rides crying, himself. Because he is the cleverest <laughs> member of One Direction. Get it! Yes! Mm. Clever. Hmm. Welcome back to the show. Now, we're lucky enough to be joined by some of our brilliant fans who've won a contest to be here. They've travelled from all over oh, the world. Oh, they won. Okay. You've travelled a long way. Some of the fun actually started last night for these fans when we gave them the keys to the theme park. Oh, wow. Ooh. Disneyland? They got to be Disneyland by themselves? Oh, Universal. Sorry. Man. We are at Universal. I would, li I would like to win this contest. Like, <laughs> you, you get, you get like, the park to yourself for the night? Yeah, that would be cool. It's Orlando. It's the night before our show and the fans have just arrived. But what they don't know is that we're here too, and we planned a little surprise for them. Oh. Thank you. How many Harry fans Potter got this? Bit in journey. Louis was, is about was to quite a bit. Ah. <laughs> 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 They're stuck in there, so they can't come up and yeah, they can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at them reaching for him. <laughs> Some girl's gonna be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she holds strike breaks it open. <laughs> uh, challenge accepted. Meanwhile, at Honey Duke's candy store, now has a surprise for some unsuspecting customers. Oh my gosh, you're my favorite! Yeah, oh. <laughs> this week's Oh my god. Hello, welcome to my store. <laughs> welcome, girls. Hello. <laughs> It'd be funny if people were like, well, who are you? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> 
Why are you standing so? Don't worry, there's security. There's security there. Just oh, in yeah. case. Oh, yeah. Just in case. Far away. I honestly, I don't bite. You guys okay? Yeah. That was a good one. On the other oh, side wow, of the park, there, we yeah. filled a cinema with 300 fans and told them that they're going to see an exclusive screening of our new movie. South America. It's lovely and, and, and hot here in South America. And this is a two hour special okay. uh, for the guys who get to watch this in the cinema at Orlando when we, when we go down there for the big Orlando panel. Cinema. I think actually what we've done here is we've told a, a small lie. <laughs> We're actually in Orlando right now in the theme park. Maybe we should go mosey on over to that cinema over there, Harry. What do you reckon? Yeah, man. It seems like a nice place. Let's go. Be there in about seven seconds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shit. Hi everyone, welcome to our, uh, our fan event. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Are you having fun? <laughs> yeah, you guys have always been so... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that are crying just crack me up. It kills me. I'm just, I'm, I'm like, all right. Hey, this is all right. Hey, this is pretty <laughs> cool. <laughs> Harry, oh, that's great. But to go to like, like crying, I don't know. I just, I don't know if I could do that for anyone. No, yeah. and I look, I get it. They're younger too. It's a combination of they're younger mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. saying because they're mm -hmm. girls. I'm not saying that. Guys get very excited mm -hmm. too. But they're also quite young. Mm -hmm. It's just funny. I think it's great. To be, but if I was in the theater, I'd be like, hey, all right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that would have been me. I'd be like, all right. Incredible for us. Uh, so thank you so, so much. Have uh, a nice evening. And we will see you tomorrow for the big performance. Yeah, we like looked into his eyes. I cannot believe you guys just did that to us. I'm so happy. God bless him. He is an angel. They are angels. Bring it in. Oh, oh my God. Oh, they got a hot movie. Aw. Interesting, though. Zane wasn't a part of the meet and greet. That's right. Okay, yeah. Why he, wasn't he, he, he? Is that his anxiety, which is part of what we've heard about? Is that why it was, maybe? Mm. Anxiety? We've seen other things like this. Here's all the seeds of him. Right. Leave. Yeah, but nobody would have caught on because everyone's like, oh, you met Niall? Cool. We met Louie. Cool. You met, who mm. met Zane? And was he Zane? Or maybe he comes um, later. Maybe. Maybe, maybe it's comes later. later. Enough. Yeah, maybe it comes later. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do a song from our new album. Make some noise if you have heard that album. Oh, so the album's already out by Make now. Make some noise if you have the album. I guess so, yeah. Hmm. This wow. is a uh, girl almighty.
ambulance. She floats through the room on a big balloon. Some say she's such a fake that her love is made of blue. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Sound another toast to the girl almighty. Spring stay young, stay made of a lightning. First time hearing that song. No, yes, yeah, no. I should have. I should have prepared you for that. So this is your first time. Uh, I did this Ooh. reaction in your absence when when you're when on I your summer work uh, in the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a request that I did over the summer. So yeah. Okay. So what do you think of the song? I'll, I'll hear your thoughts first. There. I like it. I like that it has that driving right. beat with it. it. Seems very upbeat. Very like positive. There's hardly a song in One Direction's catalog that is overtly negative. <laughs> right. I think that's probably one of the big draws for One Direction fans is mm -hmm. that feeling of you feel good afterwards because the music is designed to help you to feel good. It's going in one direction, only positive. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, it's a fun song. It's got this kind of Elvis Costello sound Ooh, vibe to it, I thought. Okay. Yeah, you like that? Uh, yeah, it's nice. a fun song. Kind of a sleeper of a song. We don't hear about the song very much. I don't think they played at the concerts that we reacted to either. So it's, I think you should add it to their set list. Maybe their next tour. <laughs> After the hiatus is over. Okay, Ross and Rachel, they're just on a break. They're on a break. We're, we're going to pause here because we're at halfway. Oh, is it the halfway point of the show? Oh, it is. is yeah, it we're a little over oh, actually, like, oh, we're like legit halfway yeah. through. Okay, yeah, okay. All right. Thanks for watching the live stream and watch this on YouTube if it made it there. We don't know if it is because it is a TV special. It might get blocked. I got a feeling it's going to be blocked, uh, but we'll try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching with us. Great experience. Thanks everyone for joining us wherever you joined us from. We hope to see you on part two. All right, guys. Thanks yeah. a lot. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. We done? Yeah. I'm out of here.